reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Lord. Jesus began speaking in the synagogue, saying, Today this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him, and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, Isn't this the son of Joseph? He said to them, Surely you will quote me this proverb, Physician, cure yourself, and say, Do here in your native place the things that we heard were done in Capernaum. And he said, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Zarephath in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet. Yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their own town had been built to hurl him down headlong. But Jesus passed through the midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Certainly, if there is one word that describes our relationship with God, that word would be love. For the definition of God is that God is love. In some way or another, all of our scripture readings this morning speak to us about love. Our second reading from St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians tells us the importance of love. That all other gifts will ultimately pass away, but the gift that will last for eternity is the gift of love. God loving us, hopefully are returning that love to God and our love for one another. Our Old Testament reading this morning from the prophet Jeremiah speaks of a prophet who was called to speak on behalf of God. And Jeremiah accepted this call out of his love for God. But being a prophet is not something to be found to be easy. In fact, no prophet finds that their job is easy. Because they find themselves saying things to people that some people don't want to hear. Some people don't want to make any changes in their life, even if it is something that God is calling us to do. And that's what Jeremiah was doing. He was calling the people to reform their lives, to see things differently in the way that they were seeing them, and make changes in their life. Jeremiah, out of great love for God, suffered much because of his love. In the Gospel, Jesus is faced with a situation 
where he had not he, he had not done any um, healings for people in his native place, but he had done it for foreigners, for a Syrian and for someone in Zarephath. The people got angry with Jesus because of this. They didn't understand why it was that Jesus was healing the foreigners. The Jewish people, obviously in the beginning, were the chosen people. And rightly so because that's how God worked his plan, his plan of salvation. But when Jesus was born, things changed. The Jewish people alone were no longer the chosen people. Everyone was invited to be part of the chosen people. And so Jesus reaching out in love to those who were not of the Jewish faith and healing them of their ailments was a sign that God's love was meant for everyone. That Jesus became a human being, not just for the Jewish people, but he did it for everyone. In our own lives, <clears throat> we find at times that love is challenging for us also. We must always consider that the common thought about love is that love only makes us feel good and is something joyful. Certainly there are cases when love does make us feel good and that it is a joyful situation. But there are also times in our lives when we're called to say and do things that go against the brain of some people. We find that loving people can be difficult. We find that loving people can get people upset with us. And yet, we must always remember that is part of love. Love when it feels good and love when it's challenging. The important thing is, is that we're loving. That we're caring for people. So this day, as we gather and reflect on God's love for us, we ask the Lord to help us to love one another in such a way that we understand that when we love and love is difficult, we are still doing what God wants us to do. We are still loving the way Jesus loved us.